We just wrapped up the most grueling stretch in Newton and are on our way to Brookline. But first, there's a one mile interlude in the Brighton section of Boston. Run past what some call the dead man's zone, a double entendre to describe your legs after the Newton Hills and the Evergreen Cemetery as you pass by. The reservoirs on your right as you take a hard right onto Chestnut Hill Ave in the 02135. And unlike back in Newton, now it's time to take a left onto Beacon Street. They're deep, and even though you see them, um, it's different than the rest of the course. It's very short, but uh, just jump over the tracks. Sage advice from Lakshman Swami, which I followed as we head into the town of Brookline, 02445, current population 62,726, established back in 1705. Lakshman's our guide through Brookline, helping us avoid those tracks and much more. His mission is a critical one, an intensive care doctor at Cambridge Health Alliance. He's a charity runner who is putting in the miles for the Brookline Center for Community Mental Health. I'm hoping that, that um, by raising awareness for mental health, we can kind of reduce the stigma, erase the stigma um, for healthcare workers to seek help. Beacon Street is lined with brownstones and comes alive with the green line on your left. It's just a beautiful, like you, I feel like I'm flying through here all the time. It's nice and flat. Through Cleveland Circle and Washington Square and into Coolidge Corner where the crowds will beckon you on to the finish. The energy is gonna be so powerful that I think, I'm hoping it just carries us straight through to the end. The elevation from mile 22 to mile 24 and a half is a steady drop of 150 feet as the race goes mostly downhill. Once you've gotten to St. Mary's Street, you've left Brookline in the rear view and have Boston in your sights up ahead. In Brookline, Josh Brogadier, WCVB Sports Center 5.